Good morning, Year 4. It is Monday the 8th of June, and on a Monday as usual, we're going to read as a reader. That is our Walt for today. So this text comes from a newspaper article. It is a report on Mount Vesuvius erupting. And this particular piece of text is based on a Roman senator who is a bit like a prime minister. So I'm going to read it to you. Are you ready? So the head title for this is Volcano Safe Claims Senator. Concerned citizens of Pompeii near Naples were told yesterday, your town is safe by Roman Senator Livius Impluvius. Town officials hope this announcement, to so the announcement from the senator, will quell fears of an eruption from nearby Mount Vesuvius, which could easily cover the town in ash and red hot lava. So he's put that it quells fears. So that means he's trying to stop people worrying and spreading rumours and getting upset that the volcano might erupt. So he doesn't want that. So he's put here, house prices have just collapsed, collapsed, said a local merchant, and nobody will invest in the town. Because if the volcano is going to erupt, no one is going to go and live there. So the house prices are coming down. That, that's what that means. It's collapsing. So it says extinct. This is the subheading of the next paragraph. Anxiety has been mounting following reports of billowing smoke emerging from the so-called extinct mountain. But Impluvius has dismissed these sightings as just a bit of dust flying around. So he doesn't want to scaremonger, does he? He doesn't want people to be worried and house prices come down. <clears throat> Besides, he told the record, such talk of impending disaster is all poppycock. So he doesn't believe it. I've spent considerable sums of money consulting all manners of fortune tellers and soothsayers. And what they have to say about Pompeii is really most encouraging indeed. Time and time again, I get the same message. Pompeii will become one of the most famous towns in ancient times. Its buildings, businesses, even its house decorations will become the object of intense study and influence European art and design well into the 21st century. Now that doesn't sound like a town that's going to get covered in red hot ash to me. So that's his report. <clears throat> so he's not particularly worried. He doesn't want people being worried about that Mount Vesuvius, which is a dormant and extinct volcano. So he says is going to erupt. So as we do on a Monday, we're going to do I think, I wonder and I question. I know the page looks a bit busy, but I just wanted to give you some ideas. So at the top here, it says here, town officials hope this announcement, so announcement is another word for a statement by this Roman senator, a bit like a prime minister. And it says this, he hopes this announcement will quell fears. So I've put in that context, quell fears means, I think this means to stop people from worrying and scaremongering. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because if you quell fears, it means you're dampening those fears down the door. He doesn't want people worrying. Okay. And then the next thing I've put here is house prices have just collapsed. Now to collapse means that you just fall down, doesn't it? You talk about a box collapsing. So I think that means here, I wonder what it means by house prices have just collapsed. And I've answered my own question there and I've put, I think it means that they have decreased in value. Because if, if people think that there's going to be an eruption, they don't want to live in the area. So the house prices have then just collapsed. They've gone really down because nobody wants to live there. So the, the Roman Senate is really worried about this because he's built up Pompeii, put a lot of money into it. So he doesn't want the house prices to collapse because nobody will go. <clears throat> OK, so here I've put here, it says here about besides he told the record. So the record is the newspaper. Such talk of impending disaster is all poppycock. So poppycock is quite an old fashioned name. And it means it's all just rubbish, really. 
I've spent considerable sums of money consulting all manners of fortune tellers and soothsayers. So soothsayers and fortune tellers were almost like um, government officials of the time. They were where people went and they predicted or forecast events of what they thought was going to go on. <clears throat> she was going to speak to them and say, look, can you help me out? What do you think is happening? So a soothsayer is a, like a fortune teller. Okay. And then the last bit I've picked up on here, it says, now that doesn't sound like a town that's going to get covered in red hot ash to me. So he's put a lot of money into this town. Um, its buildings, businesses, even its house decorations will become the object of intense study and influence European art and design. So it's, uh, it's saying that that doesn't sound like a, uh, a town that's going to get covered in red hot ash. So this Senate is a bit silly, really, because I've put here, I wonder why Impluvius has thinks that. Because Pompeii will be famous, it will save it from being covered in ash. Well, no, it won't, because he's not God, is he? So I've put there, as the, as the volcano is erupting, is an act of God, not man-made. Impluvius cannot control the volcano. So the volcano might erupt, he can't stop it, just because he's saying, oh, it can't possibly erupt. I've put a lot of money into this. It's going to be famous. And of course, he can't stop the, the volcano erupting, can he, silly man? <clears throat> Oops. Sorry, I was going on to tomorrow already. So, my dears, that's what you're going to do for me today. Um, so I want you to do I think and I wonder and I question, okay, in your science books. Okay, have a wonderful day and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Goodbye for now.